In this lesson, you will learn how to set up and use dimensions on a sales invoice. For example, when sales invoices are created, you need to track product sales to one of three divisions, wagons, bikes, and accessories. You can set up your system to do this automatically by creating a division dimension and assigning it values. The division dimension needs to be associated with your accounts, ledger, products, and invoice entry transaction. The products will need to have a default division value assigned. The sales invoice entry document needs to be configured to pull the default dimension value from the product. When you enter your sales invoice and choose a product, the dimension value associated with the product will default onto the sales invoice detail line. When the invoice is validated, the line amount will post to the default dimension value in the ledger. In this lesson, we are going to look at the division dimension which has already been set up and use it in a sales invoice. To set up a dimension, the first thing you need to do is set up a dimension type. So we'll use the dimension types function under the setup menu. And let's look at the division dimension type. Notice that we have a type and a name and some various information about the dimension type. After we set up the dimension type, we need to assign values to that type. Dimension values are defined under the common data menu, under the analytical menu and dimensions function. And if our dimension type was not selected, we could always click in the right hand panel and select our dimension type. And notice we have different values that can be accepted into that type. The next thing after that that needs to be set up are the different elements need to be associated with dimension types. To do that, you go back to your setup menu and under your organizational structure, you select default dimension types function. And we're going to be putting a division dimension on our product, so we'll select our product and make sure division is one of the dimensions. We also need to associate the dimension with our accounts. So if we come back to our common data and we come down to our accounts and we look at our revenue and expense accounts on the analytical tab, notice that we also have our dimension. Another place that needs to be set up with the dimension is in our ledger. So we'll go back to setup and we'll go into the ledgers function. And notice that in our ledger, we have the division dimension type set. Once we have the division dimension associated with our different elements and areas, we need to assign the values to the different elements. To do that, let's go look at our product. So we'll come back down under our common data and we'll come into our products. And we'll be using FIN001 in our invoice. And on our financials tab, you can see that we have the division dimension and we have a default value of bike. The last thing we need to set up before we use the division dimension is make sure that our entry screen has the division and that our entry document tells it where to pull from. For our entry document, we're going to go back into setup and we'll come down to the financials menu and we'll select the default dimensions. The SID, which is the Sales Invoice Detail Entry Document, notice has the division entered. And when we come down to the dimensions grid, for the dimension, it's going to tell us to pull the default value from the product whenever we enter it. 
And the last thing that we want to verify is that the entry screen for the invoices has the division dimensions selected. So once again, under setup, we'll come down to sales and we'll go into the invoice entry transaction and we'll make sure on the analytical tab that we have division entered in the line. Now we are ready to enter in an invoice and have it pull the default dimension value from the product. So we'll go under our sales module and we'll select an invoice. We'll use the awful entry entry screen and we'll click new to create a new invoice. We'll enter in our sales site of NA012 and leave our DIR invoice type. And today's date will be fine. Our billing customer is going to be NA003. And notice all of my information pulls in for my customer. I can jump to my lines tab. I'm going to enter in product FIN001. And I'll come through and enter in my invoice quantity. I'll select five bikes and leave my gross price. I can go ahead and accept that line and then create my invoice. When I scroll over, if you'll notice under the dimension for division, bike defaulted in for me automatically. Once I post this invoice and look at the journal entry created, you can see on the lines tab that the dimension of division and bike pulled through for me for those lines. In this lesson, you have learned about dimension types and values, about setting up dimension associations and the financial results of posting to a default dimension value on a sales invoice.